hi guys in this video we are going to see about the lockdown mode what is lockdown mode why it is always kept disabled in many of the organization or many of the production environment you see lockdown mode is disabled so why lockdown mode is disabled so i'll tell you today what is the meaning of lockdown mode what types of lockdown modes are available so basically we keep uh, lockdown mode disabled if lockdown mode is disabled we can access dc ui console which is this one i'll tell you uh, just uh, this is dc ui console this is called direct console user interface this is dc ui console when disabled you can access this or uh, you can access this or you can access web console as well as you can access from v center when dc ui console is when lockdown mode is disabled first condition in second condition normal lockdown mode host is accessible only through the local console or the v center so in normal lockdown mode when we you will log in with the normal if you kept lockdown mode as a normal so what happened in this mode you will be able to access only dc ui console i shown you black and uh, black and yellow window and second is from v center in case your v center goes down you will have only the access of dc ui console you have to go to the dc ui console you have to disable then you can take the web console and you can do the troubleshooting and all so that is called normal uh, lockdown mode in normal lockdown mode if you want to access the you can access from there third is strict strict lockdown mode in strict lockdown mode you have only the access of v center you will not be able to access the dc ui console you will be not able to access your what say web console is thoroughly logged in with your what is a v center you can access from the web console but a thing is provided you have created exception user so you have to go to the dsx and you have to add what user like uh, admin i have created add exception fail to add lockdown mode exception so because i have kept it disabled so if i'll do it if you go in a strict mode just like and i'll change it so what is say okay so what you have to go to this and you have to click here so what the server is ip is 0.4 so what you have to do you have to just go to the 0.4 go to the configure in service profile in edit option you have to just click on strict and in exception user you have to add the user as admin okay so as you do it okay you will be having the access using this uh, id only and if your server goes down there could be a problem because you don't have the dc ui control so you have only ssh you have to work on you don't have the ui control that is why always in the production environment we keep as a disable disable means you will be able to access from v center you will be able to access dc ui you will be able to access web console so do the some security reason we do the normal and district but uh, uh, in uh, production environment you see in all of the production environment lockdown mode is always kept disable so i told you about all the three all the three things so never use this uh, every day every moment of time just keep it in mind your es in esx your lockdown mode should be disabled
it is better for the double shooting it is better for the controlling is better for the administration control everything you can do if your lockdown mode is disabled if it is enabled then in which of the condition it is enabled then you have to follow those process and all so in speed is better to keep lockdown mode disabled so thanks for this in the next video we'll tell you something new idea so for that time be in tune bye bye